This channel supports Extra Life in its efforts to raise money for the Children's Miracle Network. For more information about how to donate and join in their efforts, go to the link displayed here. Extra Life. Play games. Heal kids. What up everybody, this is your boy Black Magus and just wanted to um, do this video real quick. Uh, just to, I feel like doing these help, um, so I figured I might as well just put this out here so I can kind of get it off my chest. Um, this is a personal video, of course. Um, today is August 5th, 2015, and it marks the end of a pretty crazy year. It's the year anniversary of my mom's death. Um, mind you, 2014 from beginning to end was interesting. And so is my 2015. I've been having one hell of a run here, people. <laughs> um, anyway, so at 5.56 a.m., August 5th, my mom passed away. Um, she was diagnosed with um, pros uh, pancreatic cancer. Sorry, I was about to say prostate. She had pancreatic cancer, which is incurable. Um, there's no way to really like put it in remission. You can kind of um, keep it under control, but eventually it's going to get you. Um, unfortunately for my mom, she didn't get diagnosed until about a month before she died, and it was at the point where they had said that, yeah, it's, it's far beyond our help, and we don't even know how much time. Of course, we found out a month, three days later, that's all the time she had. Um, and, you know, it's been a struggle. It's been a struggle. Um, when you lose someone, I have to say that first year is hard as hell. Because everything becomes a bigger moment. It's like, she died in August, um, Thanksgiving comes around, and you're like, man, this is the first Thanksgiving I've never had my mom in my life. Christmas comes around. Man, this was my mom's favorite holiday. First time never had her around uh, for, you know, the holiday. You know, and things like that. It's just like, if all of a sudden these things, these special moments that you kind of take for granted become even more bigger and you realize just how big they were in your life and it gets hard and it's just like reminding it just they're also huge reminders of like the fact that this person is gone so yeah, I mean sorry is gone um and I'm all fucking this up but uh yeah it it, it, it can be harsh and when you throw in everything else that I've spoken about that's going on it's just, it was like this year has just not been very very good um now I know that with this being a year now things are going to get better but that hole is never going to be gone it's never going to close the, the hole is going to get smaller but it's not going to close um but i feel like now that i'm through the first year i can begin to make that hole smaller I, um i think things won't be as heightened as they were for me um and again had it not been for other personal problems, I don't think that I would have, like, handled, like, her being, because it's like, not only are things fucked up beyond that, but it's like, I don't have my mom to speak to about, you know what I mean? It's like, you lose one of those key people who could help you through trouble, you know, and, and it's been, it's been interesting. It's been very, very interesting, um... I guess I'm doing this video just to express, uh, you know, that to other people who are going through this, um, yeah, it's definitely going, it's a harsh experience to have to deal with losing someone in life. Sadly, it's something that we all have to face, but you'll get through it. And with time and with support, you'll be able to, you know, get through these issues. And even if you don't have the support around you, trust me. You're strong enough to get through it on your own. It's not that, it's not going to be harsh. And hey, there are people out there who are willing to talk about things. I mean, there are avenues that you can take if you don't have like that close personal friend, the siblings or things like that to reach out to. There are people out there who actually care. I mean, 
I guess, you know, I'm showing that I'm one of them by doing this to let you guys know that everything will be okay and that you can make it through it. It just takes time, you know. It's like any wound in life. You have to give it time to heal and you can't keep picking at it. That's the one thing that I think I've realized in this year is that getting out of pieces over certain things kind of made the wound fester a little more and you have to kind of just, you know, deal with it better. I think some of the, um, the things that I was reminded of I didn't deal with well. Um, you know, you just have to appreciate the great moments that you have with that person. Appreciate the, you know, the great moments in life and try not to let the, like, down moments hold you down. And, you know, when you lose someone, um, it's best to just remember them for the person that you love, that you cared about, that you, you know, really, really, um, admired like I admired my mom. Um, but anyway, I guess that's it for my rambling. As always, you guys hit me up, let me know what you think, and I'll hit you later. This your boy Black Makers and I'm out. Deuces.